Asset optimization is the process of compressing, combining, moving, force loading, or stopping JavaScript and CSS files from loading, making your code more efficient, and improving page speed. If you follow this performance guide, you'll learn what asset optimization is, how to use asset optimization to implement fixes for minify CSS and JS, remove unused CSS, and eliminate render blocking resources page speed recommendations. Hummingbird Pro Advanced Asset Optimization Tools, and tips and tricks for finding the best settings for your site. First, what are Minify Render Blocking Resources or Unused CSS? These are recommendations found in the Opportunities section of the Google PageSpeed test. All of these can be applied and configured with an asset optimization tool like Hummingbird Pro. Minify is a compression method. Developers add spaces, extra text, and comments to JavaScript and CSS files to make it more readable for humans. But these additions make the files larger and take longer to load. Google recommends you minify JavaScript and CSS files to remove excess content from your code, creating smaller, faster loading files. You can find a list of unminified JavaScript and CSS files along with an estimate of potential savings based on detected comments and white space characters in the Opportunities section of the Google PageSpeed test. The Eliminate Render Blocking Resources audit is a list of all the files blocking the first paint of your page. You can reduce the impact of these render blocking URLs by moving critical resources in line, deferring non-critical resources, and removing anything unused. The Remove Unused CSS recommendation lists style sheets with unused CSS files with a potential savings of 2 kilobytes or more. Removing unused CSS files reduces unnecessary network activity. Hummingbird's default asset optimization applies minification. It provides quick, safe wins and should not cause a problem on most sites but it does not include fixes for combining, moving, force loading, or stopping JavaScript and CSS files from loading. These are all available by activating Advanced Asset Optimization. Activate Hummingbird's Advanced Asset Optimization with the Enable Advanced Mode toggle. Hummingbird simplifies advanced configuration in a few ways. It moves all the configuration settings to the dashboard for compressing, combining, moving, making in line, deferring, and stopping code from loading. It allows you to make changes, test, and quickly revert for worry-free editing. And it includes filters for locating files by extension name, file type, plugin, and theme. This section covers steps for using Hummingbird's Advanced Asset Optimization Tool for successfully compressing, combining, and moving CSS and JS files without breaking the style or functionality of your website. Before getting started following our advanced optimization tips, keep in mind asset optimization is a process. It will likely take some time to do it well and can break style and functionality during configuration. If you don't have time or encounter an error, you can restore the basic minification settings and revisit this section later or contact support for further assistance. It's recommended you make a backup of your site and or do performance configuration on your staging environment and push it live after you get everything sorted. When configuring and testing asset optimization, turn off or clear cache, including page, browser, and server-side object cache. You can find out more about cache settings in our caching video guide. Be sure you've installed and configured your plugins and themes. If you add or delete a plugin or theme, it will change available assets and alter your configuration. Hummingbird asset optimization should be the last thing you configure. If you do not see assets from a specific plugin or theme, clear your cache and use the recheck files button to reload available assets. Finally, before using the optimization settings included in Hummingbird, use the optimization settings in your theme. Premium themes and page builders sometimes include asset optimization features that will resolve 80% of your issues. So here are some tips on how we approach advanced asset optimization. After your plugins and themes are activated and set up, run the Hummingbird asset optimization scan. Compress and combine everything. Keep in mind, this may cause a style issue or break some functionality, but the next steps will be used to resolve any error.
To bulk compress and combine, click the CSS JavaScript checkbox above each section, click the Bulk Update button to open the Bulk Updater module, select the Compress and Combine options, and click Apply. Then click the Publish Changes button to push the changes live. After making changes, check your site to ensure everything is functioning as it should. If everything is working, continue to the next step. If something seems off, check your inspector for JS or CSS errors and decompress and separate any files causing errors. Save and recheck. Be sure and check all the interactive elements and styling is working in an uncached incognito window. Next, move files to the footer. Move all your files to load in the footer except the jQuery, jQuery Migrate, and Core Theme JavaScript files. Use the Filter Theme and Plugin Sort tool if you're unsure what files are from your theme. After you're done, click the Publish Changes button to push your changes live. Again, this may break functionality or styling, but stay calm and continue with testing. Next, we'll move files with an error to the header. Visit critical pages on your site and use the browser console to check for errors. To check for errors with Google Chrome, visit a page on your site, right-click, select Inspect, and open the console tab. Return to the Hummingbird Asset Optimization tab and move files flagged with an error to load in the header. Save your changes, flush your cache, and retest. Then we'll defer the scripts that are not needed immediately. Use the Force Load This File After the Page Is Loaded button available in the JavaScript section to defer scripts that you don't need immediately, like a form script or a spam protection script. Remember, if you run into any issues, you can deactivate Advanced Asset Optimization under the Asset Optimization Setting tab and contact our support team. Finally, we'll remove unused CSS. But before using Hummingbird Pro to remove unused CSS, consider removing or replacing the number of plugins that load unused CSS. You can identify plugins that are adding unnecessary CSS by running code coverage in Chrome DevTools. Use the style sheet URL to identify the theme or plugin responsible. Look out for plugins that have a lot of style sheets in the list with a lot of red in code coverage. A plugin should only enqueue a style sheet if it's being used on the page. After you've settled in on an essential theme and plugins, if you're still getting the remove unused CSS error, use the don't load file toggle in Hummingbird to stop unused CSS from loading. 